The item C is a presentation by Andy Dickerson, Cardinal Pencil. <coughs> Good morning. All right, thanks for having me today. Thanks for coming out, everybody. Um, so I'm here to talk about a new nature preserve we'd like to start in Buffalo. Um, just a, a quick update for those in the room and, and you guys. Our mission, I mean, we protect natural habitats, waterways, and working lands all throughout Southwest Ohio. And we are a nonprofit. We've grown since I've last been in front of you. We've got a uh, few more board members. We're up to seven staff now, and we are approaching 9,000 acres that we either have in Eastman or in Albright. So we've been, we've been hitting a good leg across the region for land protection. We're protecting farms. I know I've seen you guys talk about the solar issue and impacting farms, so we've been doing that for a long time. Uh, an another neat thing about the Cardinal, what we've done is, is help work on not just our area, but the whole region. We've helped design a green space prioritization plan for Ohio, Kentucky, and Indiana that identifies those last great places. And the dark green, you can see where they are and look at how much is in Claremont County. Um, it, it's just one of those things that we need to pay attention to and prioritize as we try to bring state dollars in and spend here locally. Uh, the red stuff is those areas that should be restored because there's no tree cover and people have health issues because of uh, the lack of nature. We've upgraded our technology so we now have drone experts on staff and we're able to monitor properties way more efficiently and not just look and see if there's any encroachments. This is a 220 acre nature preserve we have up in Clinton County. Uh, but if you see the lighter colored bushes, that's our automata. So we're able to track and uh, update our progress on getting rid of invasive plants that are taking over the fields. And the top is all restored to native prairie. And we work with farmers, so we, we monitor farms and farmers love this. This guy actually used to run um, uh, ODOT and wanted a picture with the drone and had us check out his roof while we were there. <laughs> <laughs> um, and you sent him a large bill, right? <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, we're, we're, we're just happy that they won't shoot our drone down. Um, so, you know, I wanted to, to remind and thank you for working with us on our Rensky Woods Nature Preserve. That nature preserve is going strong. We have a parking lot. It's open to the public. They like the dark and we get lots of visitors hiking it. Um, they get to see endangered plants like a crane fly orchid or cardinal flower, and it's, it's really neat. Today what I'm here to talk to you about is Grailville. I don't know how much you know about, about the Grail, but they've got a long history of stewardship and agriculture and art and community involvement that is probably second to none in our region. Um, the Park District has worked with them to purchase over 100 acres and the rest of it is you know something that the park district is is not going to tackle so that's where we at cardinal would love to see a little bit larger of a protected area and nature preserve and would like to apply for a grant to purchase it and you see on the map up there basically the west side of the map is the the park we're going to uh, pursue in game and it will add on i, I know that uh parks is and josh are, are looking to do some restoration. And we're going to work in conjunction with the, those guys and partner with them. And not just on that, maybe even in seeking some of the Appalachian funding to bring to the area in the region. Um, we are going to, I uh, think that's on our next slide. So we are going to work with partners. So we're going to work with the Grail. Um, you know, they're fantastic. Uh, everyone I've ever talked to there has a deep caring for the land and wants to see it protected. And protecting land is what we do. Um, we're gonna work with the Park District. Um, again, Park District is, you know, hand in hand what we'd like to do. Um, we're in conjunction with them. Restoring forests, building trails, having prairie, and getting people out there. Work with the City of Loveland. The City of Loveland is willing to build a spur off the Little Miami bike trail get people from downtown Loveland up to this property so they can enjoy it. That's a big thing for them. And also the township, because this is a unique property. It's, it's 
Um, Annex been the Loveland, but it's still uh, in the township. So we have to support the mining township as well. And Claire can go there and fish and catch Jeff's dinner for us. Well, what we are going to do. Yeah, he can do it own <laughs> There's the pond. How, how it, what's the size of the pond? It know? is um, almost an acre. Oh, good. Wow. But the dam is in need of a little bit of repair, so hopefully we can find a good Claremont County contractor to not fix the dam for us. Okay. Um, but we have restored ponds before, and we're going to do it again. Okay. Um, check and make sure it's not uh, sedimented up. Check our fish population and get it restored so people can enjoy uh, the hike and go and fish. So you've got any idea how deep it is? I haven't been brave enough to swim out there yet. Well, that's on your next assignment. Well, there's a snapping turtle right there. Here. That's it's really, really big. big. It's about the, as big as a garbage can lid. So. Are you serious? Yeah. yeah. It's, it's a big suit? <laughs> I'll tell you what, Bonnie. <laughs> you get your suit and come out with me. <laughs> we'll see if we can find that turtle. Oh, I don't think Another neat thing about the place is, is working with the public. There are some buildings on site that are just unique and have a character and a sense of place to the residents that we're going to do our best to raise money to try to restore them. Um, many of those buildings are not included in this grant. We're going to work on separate funding for that so we're not limited or restricted by the grant funds when we fix them up. But our goal is to fix them up and let the community use them. And we'd like to move our office there for Milford to be a lot of them as well. Um, but, but a, a couple of the big issues that I think are unique about this opportunity in us is we know there's a, uh, just the, with the pandemic, all the mental health issues, we really are partnering with health practitioners to use nature as a prescription for mental health treatment. Um, the science exists for that. It's not new science. But there's not many places that are explicitly focusing on the mental health aspect. <coughs> and with HODA, that's a big barn that has rooms in it that, they, that they've kept that would be easy to fix up. We can provide a place where practitioners can meet with their patients and then send them outside to get treated. Um, it's also great for veterans and PTSD. So that's our goal. And um, through the restoration of of specifically having an avian ecologist on staff of attracting birds and going to the, the Midwest Native Plant Conference and attracting insects. We're going to create a sound garden that people can enjoy the night mm -hmm. sounds of insects. So we, we've got a lot of big plans, but you know, it starts with support from governments as required by Ohio Revised Code, us being a 501c3 nonprofit. Mm -hmm. Um, we need a, a resolution of support from you in order to submit an application. We're not looking for money from you for funding. It's just so we can apply to get state dollars to bring here and use it to count. We already have, uh, we have unanimous, unanimous support from Loveland and Miami Township and um, to see the same thing. Thank you. Do you have any questions? Any more about turtles? <laughs> <laughs> I caught one one time on an old cane pole. It scared me to death and turned down a man. <laughs> I have a few I can get into. Turtles? Oh, yeah. Every time. They eat all your fish. Hey, they're all part of it, right? Yes, they are. Turtles got to eat. That's <laughs> true. Any? Go ahead. Mr. Bickford, I understand that there were a couple items that Mr. Idle did not have to do the resolution for today. Yeah, there's some information. So we'll, we'll, we'll get that, and I will prepare a resolution for next week. For next week, yes. So we will have it next week. Okay. Okay. Where will it be on? Is that non-consent or consent? How does that go? I don't know how it works. Okay. A resolution like that would typically put on non-consent. Okay. All right. Great. Are you going to get the documentation for? Yeah, I'll work with Tom and get it. All right. We'll have it ready to go for next week. Next week, promise. You two connect, and once we get that information, then we'll be able to drop that resolution and deliver it. Okay, great. Thank you. And Thank I you. want this farmhouse 
Yeah. Is that beautiful? No. Come on out. Make the stool. So that's where oh, that's this. where that's where the ball skids to sit. Is it like this? <laughs> At this one? Oh no. Uh, no, no, I want one. this one. The one at Grill Hill. You can't have that one either. <laughs> that's beautiful though. Very pretty project. Thank you. Okay.